Welcome back guys, so today we're going to be installing this 4K dash cam from Nextbase model 622, stay tuned. So a lot of you guys had asked how I powered up the previous model, the 522 GW, and that one we did a cigarette lighter, so real basic, so we could transfer from car to car. But you know what? Uh, because I use the Land Cruiser a lot for overlanding, and I don't want to be uh, having to deal with the plug-in, cigarette lighter adapter all the time, and then I actually want to use that for other stuff um, that I carry around, whether it's GPS or, or anything else, right, to keep that empty. So big shout-outs to Nextspace for sending this 4K uh, Model 622 dash cam from them. And not only that, but they also sent a dash cam hardware kit or hardwire kit uh, so we don't have to keep uh, removing the cigarette lighter uh, for the power source and we could just mount this on and it powers right up all the time. So yeah, let's go ahead and open this and uh, compare it to the 522 model. So like I mentioned, here is the 4K 622 uh, Nextway dash cam that they sent us. They also sent us a new Click and Go Pro GPS power mounted. So this powers uh, the actual dash cam here. So you run your power to here. This piece right here go ahead and powers it, but I'll show you that later. And like I mentioned, they also sent us the, the, the hard wiring kit as well because it is a 4K model. You wanna go ahead and use the right uh, memory card. This is a 120 gig memory card for this particular unit. So make sure to pick one of these up as well. And here's the previous model, the 522 that I used, as you guys saw in the previous videos, uh, the overlanding snow one where I almost went off the road. This was very, very helpful to catch that actual moment in, uh, in real life. Uh, because I didn't have my camera and I wasn't rolling with my camera this I was rolling at all times So it was very helpful and I totally forgot that I had this on and it recorded it So I caught the moment if you don't if you remember or you haven't seen that video click on this on this link up right above and then come back uh, So you guys can see that footage uh, for this one the fight 22 model does shoot in 1440 HD and 30 frames per second, but it also shoots 1080p in HD and 60 frames per second. So uh, kind of gives you an idea how this was shooting. Uh, but again, we just upgraded. So let's go ahead and open the 622 model. Just like we did the other one, you have your congratulations for purchasing a uh, next space dash cam. Obviously, thank you as well. Card, a quick start guide. Make sure to read this. Uh, what they do recommend is to, once you open it, make sure that you plug it into your laptop or desktop to get the latest firmware onto the unit itself. And you can do that with that information just right here. Again, this unit also comes with the option with the cigarette lighter adapter like the last one. Um, this does come with a click and go mount as well. Also comes with an extra sticky mount. You get your you get your plugs. So you could connect it to your uh, desktop or laptop. You get a little um, panel removal. So this is pretty good. If you guys can see it, a little panel removal. And obviously you got your unit here. Let's go ahead and open it. Ooh, you can almost feel it a, a difference right away. It's slight slight heavier. It might be even the same, but. As you guys can see, side by side, they both look really well. Uh, pretty similar. I want to say maybe the 622 is a light, uh, small, slightly larger than the other one. I almost feel like maybe almost similar weight, but again, I feel like this one might be a little bit um, heavier. You do have an adjustable uh, lens here, just like the other one. You got your USB port, you got your HD out uh, for your cameras, exterior cameras. Then you got your power button uh, to lock and record. Uh, sorry, your power button here and your memory card here. Pretty basic, gives you an uh, explanation on how to set this up. Obviously, read all the instructions before installing it. You does recommend to charge it for two hours before operating the unit but very sleek 
similar to the 522. Let's go ahead and also open our hardwire kit. I was actually looking very forward to this one just because I don't, again, I don't want to be using my circuit lighter adapter all the time. You're going to open it, you will have some instructions. And obviously the box. Here's the, uh, so you got your, your unit that, your plug, your plug, your USB port, you got your USB port that goes to the mount to power it up. And then you got your positive and negative connections. But wait, there's more. I think I read this in the instructions. They actually provide, this kit actually provides you with a fuse tab cable with a standard fuse and, and a mini fuse as well and a micro fuse too. So three different options if, depending on how you want to connect it. But this is super great. So you got a mini, you got a micro, you got a mini fuse and a standard size. That's, that's pretty awesome that they provided it's in the kit. Installation should be very simple. So first things first, we're gonna go ahead and install the, the mount. We're gonna go ahead and clean our surface because we're going to go ahead and st stick the mount there. I'm going to open it. They do have the optional suction cup one as well. If you wanted to go right that route, but we're not going that route. We are going with this mount right here. So this is the powered mount. Um, you plug your power up here and then this right here is powered so it clicks onto your unit. Pretty simple. So we're going to go ahead and be uh, putting this mount right up here uh, with this 3M tape. Let's just wipe it. I always use the mirror as uh, the, a guide point to the center of the vehicle. I'm hoping that that's the case and also make sure that you do put it on the right uh, right way with the next space uh, facing down. So what you're going to do first, I do love that they, 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 they provided a little tab here to make it easier to peel this off because these are a pain in the butt. Before we go ahead and do that, make sure we have enough room for the power cable before we go and sticking it on. So this is the hardwiring kit with the USB port. And should be just like this. I just wanna make sure that we don't have any issues with the cable here. And it does block it a little bit, so we're gonna to have to come down. We're gonna to have to come down some. Like I figured. Put it as close as possible where we're enough where we can still take this off and make sure it's centered. So I think we're good right there. And that's it. We just apply a little bit of pressure. You could always remove this mount and uh, they have a second adhesive for you in the kit um, if you needed it. So power cable's good, plugs right in, Let's, looks pretty pretty straight and this does swivel so don't worry about that. It does have a swivel head. This unit right here has a magnetized setup where you just go like that with the power cable there and it's set. And it sits pretty high up where it does it gets out of the way. The main thing here is for it to capture everything. Um, so I really don't really care too much to see in the screen because it'll be recording. But the higher it sits up, just like that, it just looks super clean. I don't need to be any lower because I don't have I don't have to be viewing. I just want to make sure that it's doing its job. So let's run the power cable over the headliner and down the A pillar.
solar cable on just like that disconnect this run our cable to the top panel move our cable in like that drop it into place in there guide it up put it in right here that hides it just want to give us a little bit of slack so we can just And just like that, now we run it down the pillar and to the fuse box. They give you plenty of wire, plenty of wire. So we're gonna have to hide this underneath the dash, but we're gonna run uh, something through here. So it guides us or just drop it in like this, tape it and drop it in. So I put a light underneath here so I could see where the light's coming from at the bottom. I'm gonna do is just put a zip tie to it. Kind of keep it simple. Kind of help me guide it down to the bottom. And then just grab it from the bottom side. Got that pretty simple. Now just running all that extra wire down that way. And that gives us enough space there. And then we'll just tuck it in, put our panel back on, and then we'll get to the bottom. I went ahead and put it right here as you guys can see. Put the original fuse in there and then obviously this one comes with the fuse I ran the line or the power to it out the side rounded it over here all the excess wire is tied up in here so the ground is right there to the body power set and we should be good there's a little red dot right there indicating that there is power to this side and also that little square box that we had in the power it also shows you how to indicate that it, it is getting power to it and from it. So there's two ways. One, uh, where you turn on the ignition and it comes on or having consistent power. I'm not always gonna have this on there, but with the consistent power, that'll give you surveillance around the car. So it will stay on consistently. Um, I do have an upgraded battery. You always wanna check your manual. You always wanna check your type of battery that you have if you decide to do a consistent power to it. Um, so. Uh, it should just plug have power if, once I put it right in so all you have to do because it is magnetized Drop it into place. I, I show the power there. It should come right on and just like that Like in the last video, we're gonna go ahead and set it up. We want English, but not UK We want English US or set set the correct one that you would like um, You hit you hit okay first time installing it please follow in the menus adjust your dash cam settings country speeds and everything so go through that so go through all the settings time sets we're gonna go ahead and because we are in the US we're gonna hit US okay we in the Western or actually Pacific so we're gonna hit Pacific for this location we're doing miles per hours It would automatically set the date and time uh, with the satellite signals. We're going to hit OK. Uh, enable Alexa for emergencies. You can set that uh, Alexa as well. Today we're not going to do it, but we will in the future. So download the app. What we're going to do is hit the dash cam, connect dash cam. Continue because we have the fight 22 as well. We're gonna hit Continue searching for dash cam 622, which is the model we have currently have We're gonna go ahead and connect to it Pair it to that same number. Yes Cool, so we have it connected there's no libraries, there's nothing. We do have an SOS button here, but now we're all set. So now you just have to set and adjust 
the 622 model or any next space cam set it and this is already the time and the dates are already set everything's set yeah that's it all right so that's how you install and hardwire the next base uh camera you could use it use that same hardwire for all the other models um click on the description below for any more information but yeah looking forward to putting some footage from the 4k uh at, compared to the, the previous model the 522 model so i appreciate you guys watching hey but stay tuned i have i'm getting a rear camera for the back window so it also records the back part of it so that's important as well we got the front covered but also we need to cover the rear so I'm looking forward to doing that so stay tuned for the next video and yeah big shout outs to next space for sending us one of these so items you'll need is the obviously the dash cam they have different models for you um, check it out um, the 4k 622 is the one I installed you will need a memory card from them so pick one of those up as well uh, the, you're gonna need a the, the camera does come with a mount you could use those or you could pick up an, a, an additional one uh, so if you want to transfer it from car to car you have an additional mount um, the biggest thing that I liked a lot was their uh, hardwired kit the hardwired kit was great it was actually pretty easy to install so I was actually really surprised I, I'd probably say it's it's well worth getting this than having to use a cigarette lighter. Get this, it already comes with the cigarette lighter adapter so you could run that to a different car, but whatever is your main car that you're gonna be running the, the dash cam on, you wanna do the hardwiring kit, so pick one of those up. So yeah, appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully this video was helpful on making a decision if you wanted to pick up a dash cam and, and how to install it on your vehicle too. So mine was the Toyota Land Cruiser 1998 and yeah make sure to go pick one up uh, in the description below you get all the information and yeah big shout outs to next space for sending me one um, thank you um, and thank you guys for watching subscribe and i'll catch you guys on the next video